Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own steampunk top hat. Right here. You will need a cutting surface, contact cement, two-part epoxy, scissors, and a match. Six sheets of craft foam, a sharp knife, a hair dryer, a pattern, black acrylic paint, rub and buff metallic wax, paste, and a foam exercise hey, Rand, mat. Do you know where your Pilates mat is? Should be in the cupboard. Uh, yep, yep. Why do you want it? Oh, uh, no real reason. Unroll the foam mat, arrange your pattern pieces, trace around the pattern, and cut, remembering not to cut yourself. All cut out. First, we'll glue the headband. Get your contact cement and spread evenly along both edges. Let it dry until it is no longer tacky and then press firmly together. This should fit perfectly on your head. Now apply glue to the bottom curved section of the headband and around the top of the brim. Allow the glue to dry until no longer tacky and then carefully align the two sections and press them firmly together. And repeat with the top section. I think you're starting to get the idea. Next we will curve the brim using our hair dryer like this. Curvy. Your hat's all made. Now for the next part, you're gonna wanna go outside because this part's gonna stink. Okay, back to work. Cut your craft foam in half, squeeze some glue on it, and spread it out evenly with a nice piece of cardboard. Spread a few patches of glue on the hat and wait till they are not tacky. Cut your craft foam into random squares and place them on the hat wherever you would like. And continue until the hat is covered with foam. You will have to add some glue underneath overlapping pieces or they won't stick to anything. When you're tired of the fresh air, come inside and trim any overlapping little bits of foam with your knife. Dispense equal amounts of two-part epoxy and mix thoroughly on a piece of cardboard. Cute animal pictures optional. We will use this glue to make the rivets on the top hat. Use the match to place small dots of glue along the edges of each of the squares. Once you find the epoxy getting too thick to work with, mix up another batch and continue. And paint it black, because... Black looks cool. You can choose a different color if you wanted your hat to look silly. Just leave it like it is. That looks kind of crazy, if you're into crazy. When you're done, leave it to dry and go make a curry. Once the paint is dry, get out your rub and buff, squeeze a small amount onto a piece of cardboard, and apply lightly with your finger. Probably worth trying a couple times on a piece of scrap so you don't get too much on at once. And there it is, your new top hat. Wear it proud because you made it yourself. If you'd like to get your hands on the pattern for this hat, just click this link and it will take you there. 